Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about solving system, um, not solve, system, solving absolute value inequalities, okay? So let's first return to the original definition of absolute value. Absolute value of x is the distance of x from zero. For instance, both negative two and two are two units away from zero, as you can see in the image, okay? So from zero, we have the image is, this is zero. And then if you go two units to the left, we have negative two in this direction. And if you go two units to the right, we have positive two, okay? So this means that their absolute value will both be two. So in other words, we have absolute value of negative two equals absolute value of positive two equals two. So with this definition and this picture in mind, let's look at some of the absolute value inequalities. Okay, so if absolute value of equation give you two points, absolute value of inequalities is going to give you an interval. Okay, so for example, absolute value of x less than four. Um, in this inequalities, they're asking me to find all the x values that is less than four units away from zero in either direction. So the solution is going to be the set of all the points that are less than four units away from zero, okay? In other words, the number have to be between zero and four. So let's look at the number line right here. We're gonna mark zero here. Now, um, what are some numbers will satisfy the condition? Now, keep in mind that all the points have to be less than four units away from zero, okay? So if this is four, then we can take one unit away from zero, right? So one would be that, but then negative one is also one unit away from zero. So negative one, also another numbers that satisfy those. Um, if you choose two, then it will be one, two is also less than four units away. And so is negative two, correct? If you go the other side, two units, same thing. Okay, if you go to three, same thing. Three, three units away from zero is still less than four. So that's gonna be three and negative three and so on. Even if you put 3.99, it's still gonna be less than four, right? Less than four units from zero. And so negative 3.99 will work. However, four, when x equals four, then four is certainly not less equals four, right? It's not less than four. So four would be not included. And so is negative four, okay? So four and negative four right here is gonna have an open circle. There are all the number between is gonna satisfy the condition to be less than four units away from zero, as we can see on the picture here. All right, to the right side, to the positive, all the number between the shaded part right there, it's gonna be less than four units away from zero, okay? So open you at four right here and negative four. So algebraically, your solution will look like an interval. So X is between, X is between the two values, right? So X cannot be negative four, but it can be between negative four and four. So all the numbers uh, right here will be part of the solution, okay? So with this pattern right here, um, is generated for any less than absolute value inequalities, is always hold this. Given an inequality in the form of absolute value of X less than A, then the solution will always be in the form of negative a less than x less than a. In other words, x is between negative a and a, okay? So let us take a look at some more example. Number one, let's solve this equation. x plus six less than two, okay? So what it's saying right here is, the distance from x plus six to two have to be between negative two and two. 
correct? So the distance of x plus six right here will be between negative two and two because this, this number signify that how much the distance from zero, okay? So if you go two zero, two to the left of zero will be negative two. We we'll go two to the right of zero will be positive two. So with this being said, we are going to go ahead and solve for this inequalities. To solve, I'm going to get x alone, to isolate the x. So just like how we're gonna do as equations, we are going to subtract six. But because this is together, right? So what you do to one side, you gotta do exactly the same to the other ones. Here we have three, kind of three parts right here. We're gonna do exactly the same to three parts. So we're gonna subtract six, all three sides, okay? So this become a zero and this um, negative two and negative six will give us a negative eight, less than. In the middle, the only thing that left over is X and then the other side to the right, we have two minus negative six, give us negative four. So how does it gonna look in the number line, right? So number line is like um, a small model of your graph, okay? So because we don't have the equals right here, we are going to be using the open circle to signify that negative eight and negative four is not included. So we put negative eight there and negative four here. And all the X value will be in between negative eight and four. So we are going to be shading taking all the number between negative A and negative four, okay? X between this, cool? So that is how answer looks like. We are going to do the same to the second example. We have absolute value of three X minus six less than or equals 15. So what is saying right here that's three X minus six have to be between negative 15 and 15, okay? The distance from zero have to be between negative 15 to 15. Have to be between 15, that's why. So here, I'll go to solve for x still. So circle, I'll go. We are going to get rid of or eliminate anything that doesn't um, help us solve for x, right? So for example, the first one, we're gonna eliminate of the negative six. So the only thing that you're going to eliminate is you add in the opposite, okay, to create a zero pair, okay? So you do the same to the other two sides. Add six to the right and add six to the left because they're all in the same line, okay? So they go together. So this become a zero. So in the middle, the only thing we have left is three X. The sign stay the same, inequality stay the same. Um, the only thing changed right now is the number. So if you add negative 15 and six, there's more negative here. So we're gonna have a negative nine. On the right side, you just add the positive numbers. So the total is gonna be 21, okay? So now I'll go to solve for X. We are going to eliminate the three by dividing both sides. Well, my bad, not both sides this time, three sides, okay? Everything by three. There we go. So divide by three, we got one X. So right here in the middle, we have X is between a negative nine divided by three, that's negative three. 21 divided by three is seven. All right, so our number line is gonna look something that's similar to that to represent that one, right? So to represent that, we are going to put the two numbers first Okay, so we have right here negative three. Uh, my bad right here, guys, because this one have the line, right? So we need to include the, the, exactly the same inequalities. So I apologize for that. This is included, okay? Because original, this one is mean included. Yeah, so that's mean we are going to use a close dot for the two values that we found. So let's put a close dot at negative three another close dot at seven, okay? And then it's saying that X is between negative three and seven. So we are going to be shade, shading the middle, the middle part right here. All of this is on the X axis, 
So it represents the x value is between negative three and seven. Okay, so that is how you do the problem with inequality that's less than. Okay, let's take a look at how is the greater than is going to be looking like. So case number two, greater than. I know I spelled that one wrong, but you see why. Okay, example number three. Solve absolute value of x greater than three. Okay, so the solution to this given inequalities will be set of all points, all the points that's gonna be more than three units away from zero. Okay, so three is unit away from zero, more than that. More than three units away from zero. So that's mean after three. So right here, I would say 3.1 works. And then away from zero. So if I go to the negative sign, negative 3.1 will work as well, right? Um, four works because four units is certainly bigger than three, correct? And negative four is also works. Right here, it's bigger than three, more than three units away from zero, okay? So pretty much anything that to the um, left side of negative three or to the right side of negative three, like this, it will be solution, All right? To the left side of negative three is more than three. Three units away from zero. Okay, more than three units away from zero. Okay, so all the numbers will go that way right there. And right here, we don't have the equals, which means that is not including three. So we're gonna put an open circle at three. Okay, so this means open circle. If you, um, if they're asking you to write or open dot, okay? So we're gonna use that one. If they're asking you to represent on the graph, then that is how you're going to do, okay? With an open dot or a closed dot, if there's an equal. All right, so that is how your solution looks like graphically. Um, algebraically, it will look like this. This one, the left side is on to the left of negative three. So that's mean that's all the X value that less than negative three, okay? And the right side is including four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way, you name it, to the infinity. So it would be x is gonna be more than three. Okay. Now, x cannot be both less than negative three and greater than negative three at the same time. Okay. At the same time, it cannot be both. So we're gonna be using or. Okay. Hence, that's why I change that one into the greater than. You can say greater than to help you remember, okay? When it's greater than, you use a or in between the answers. All right. So with that being said, we can generate a pattern for this greater than absolute value inequalities. Given the inequality, X is greater than A. A is a number, okay? Any number. The solution always start by splitting the equation into two pieces. First, x is going to be less than negative a, or x is greater than a. All right, we are going to be using this um, pattern right here in order to help us solve the equations, okay, with a greater sign. So first example, we have 4x, no, my bad, absolute value of x minus 4 greater than 3. So what that's being said is that um, the number that away from zero is gonna be more than three, okay? So X minus four is gonna be more than three units away from zero. So it's gonna be to the left of negative three. If negative three is here, it's open circle. Then it's gonna be to the left of uh, negative three. And also, the distance have to be more than three from zero. So it's gonna to be to the right of positive three. So we're gonna have X less than four. No, X minus four less than negative three or X minus four 
is gonna be to the right means greater than positive three. Okay, so to the left of negative three means less than negative three. To the right of three means greater than positive three. Okay, so now all we have to do now is to solve for the variables. X, we need to solve for X here. So add four and add four to the right side. We're gonna create a zero here. So we have X is gonna be less than Negative three plus four is positive one. All right, boom, one of them solved. Now let's solve for the second one. Here we are going to go ahead and add four to both sides. So as you can see, the step is similar, only the right number is different, okay? So we have X is gonna be greater than three plus four is seven. Okay, let's think about it. Now X had to be less than one or greater than seven, right? So on the number line, we can signify it by um, putting the numbers like on the number line, okay? On the number line. So I'm going to be using this one. Uh, it's an open circle because we don't have the equal. So we're gonna be using like that. And then we're gonna put the two number for the X. Here we have one and here we have seven. Now, X have to be to the left of one because less than one. So we're gonna shade this part right here. Basically pulling away, right? And then X have to be bigger than seven. So eight, nine, 10, 100, 200, a million, a billion. So anything to the right of seven will count. So this is graphically and this is algebraically. Okay, that is now example four, A. Part A. Now, part B, you have a different inequalities. This time, it's going to be more than 10 units away from zero, right? So we're going to put the 4x minus 2 less than or equal. This means a closed circle, right? A closed dot. So whenever that you solve for your answer, you're going to be using the closed dot. So 4x minus 2 less than or equals to 10, well, negative 10 to the left of negative 10. Or for x minus two, it's gonna be more than or equals to 10, to the right of 10, basically. Okay, so now we are going to be using our algebra skill in order to solve for this. Plus two, add two to the four x and do the same to the negative 10. So this will give us a negative eight. The sign, the inequality stay the same. Bring down the 4x, and now we need to get x alone, right? So get x alone, divide both sides by 4, and then we're going to have x is less than or equal to negative 2. Or, well, we're going to solve for this one on the right side, okay? So the same step, we need to solve for x. So add 2 to both sides of the inequalities. We have 4x is greater than or equal to 12. So now divide both sides by four, okay? If we divide both sides by four, then we're gonna get X alone, right? So right here, let's bring down the X. That's basically, that's one X, but this one is the same numbers. So if you divide both sides by four, you're gonna get this one is three. So we have two cases right here. Let's represent it on our number line to see if it works, okay? So on the number line, let's see. X have to be less than negative two or X have to be more than three. All right, so we have two different direction right there. And like I said from the beginning, because we have the equals on the bottom, like right here, we're gonna have a closed dot at the answer. So we are going to be using the closed dot all right, here I'm gonna list them from left to right from the smallest value to the biggest value. So negative two to three. And then it have to be less than or equals to negative two. So less, the sign right here, less than is rhyme with less, right? So think about left hand, yeah, left hand. So it's gonna move to the left side of negative two. Okay, so basically all the value that to the left of negative two. Or X have to be greater than three. So think 3.1, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so on. 
So it's going to be to the right side of the, a positive three. Okay, so into that direction. So both of these have, um, uh, so you have solved for the value of x right there and represent them on the graph. Okay, next we're going to look at two challenging um, problems. Well, it's not, a, not much of a challenge, but I think you can do it um, with a little twist. Okay, so for this question right here, you got to remember a uh, first, first, first thing we need to do is to isolate. Okay, isolate just like how you um, how you solve the equation. You got to isolate the absolute value first. Okay, because that is the special part. So you isolate this part right here. You need to isolate it. Send it over here to the right side. We got to get that alone by itself on the left. Okay, to one side in order to be solving to the next step. So first we are going to be using um, our skill, algebraic skill. So think of this, absolute value of three X minus six is subtracting two less than or equal to four. So the two is extra, the negative two is extra. So we're going to add two to both sides of the inequalities. So now we have three X minus six less than or equals four plus two is six. So now, because it's less than or equals to six, that's mean the, um, the distance from zero have to be between, right? Negative six and six. Anything that say less than, think of the distance. The distance is absolute value. So you have to think it have to be between the two numbers, right? So put the three X minus six between that, and then we go ahead and solve for X. All right, so to solve for X, you are thinking backward again. We need to isolate the X. So start by adding or subtracting. So this, if you add six, it's gonna be zero right here, right? So do the same to any sign, the three side of the equation, basically. All right, so this one cancel out. We have zero. We have three X only, less than or equal to. On this side, we also have zero. On this side, six plus six is 12. And then remember, keep in mind our goal is to solve for x. So we divide both sides by three, because the three is three times, right? Divide by three. Zero divided by any number is still zero. In the middle, if you just divide the same thing, you get one time, right? So that's just x. On the right side, we have 12 divided by three is four. So z x is between zero and four, okay? so. That is also inequalities with the line, the equals. So we're gonna put zero here, four here. And because it's shaded, uh, because x is between, so it's gonna be shaded in the middle between the two values, okay? Next, we have a problem with the greater sign, okay? So let's take a look at this problem. We need to isolate this, the three x minus one. So we need to add one both sides. Then we have two, three X minus one greater than eight. And then in order to isolate the absolute value again, we are going to divide both sides by two. All right, so here we have three X minus one alone greater than eight divided by two is four. And then we go back to our original problem already. Now, if the absolute value is greater than four, it only means one thing and one thing only. That is the distance from zero is more than four. So we have the whatever inside the absolute value, it have to be to the left of negative four or to the right of four, okay? So three X minus one is gonna be greater than four. So now all we have to do right now is to solve for X. So for X, so add one both sides, three X less than negative three. You can do separately like this or do at the same time, okay? So, okay, let's just finish one side, my bad. Divide by three both sides so you get X alone, X less than negative one. 
And I make a mistake right here. I shouldn't put the equals because the original doesn't have the equals. Okay. So now let's solve the right side. We have right here is 3x minus 1 greater than 4. So our first step will be adding 1 to both of the inequalities. Then we're going to have 3x is greater than 5. Then what's next? We want to solve for x, right? So divide by 3 times right there. Do the opposite operation of 3x. Then we're going to have x is greater than 5 over 3. All right, so we have or and or right here. So on the number line, let's pretend this one is a number line, OK? I'm going to represent it in this number line. So I'm going to put the two numbers, open circle at negative 1, open circle at 5 over 3. 5 over 3 is about 2.677 something, right? 66666. Six, 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 six. Um, it's greater than 5 over 3. So it's go to the right. And then if it's less than 1, it will stay on the left of negative 1. So we shade it outside, OK? So think of the middle is empty. It's like an or this or that, OK? Meanwhile, if you have like the x between, that means end. So x have to be 3 greater than 0 and less than 4. So therefore, between. Good. All right. So that is how you do is by hand, OK, algebraically. Now, Ms. Do will also show you this one um, on the calculator, how you check your graph, right? So let's take this one, 3x minus 6 minus 2 less than or equal 4, OK? We are going to do that on the graph. 3x minus 6. Wait, let me write down so I can type it very quickly. 3x minus 6 absolute value minus 4 less than or equal 4. So in order to represent this one on the graph, let me show you how the graph looks like, OK? So you go to the decimal graphing calculator. And then on here, you are going to type in the inequality, OK? So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and type it in. The inequality looks like this. Absolute value of 3x minus 6 minus 2 less than or equals to 4. So we are going to be using this one, less than or equals to 4. All right, so let's try it out. In here, you're going to type it in. So use the absolute values right here below the parentheses, OK? So use the keyboard, the keypad right here, and then use the absolute value of A. In there, you are going to type in um, 3x minus 6, 3x minus 6. Oh, it's already showing us the V shape, right? What it should be. Minus 2. And then equal, I mean, less than or equals 4. Boom. So as you can see right here, it's shaded you. Um, the graph is shaded in the middle, right? So it's showing you two columns right here and shaded in the middle. You see that? All right. So if you um, want to do by calculator, you're going to look at whenever the x is being shaded, right? As you can see, it's shaded in the middle of 0 and 4. 0 on this side and 4 is on this side. So if, if it's shaded in the middle, it looks like this, OK? You can just type in exactly like that, All right? Same thing with any po other problem. So say absolute value. Let me, let me change them into different problems. You can always, always check your answer and see if it's true. So let me do a one with the greater than, OK? So x minus 2. So for example, this one I'm just making it up on top of my head, plus 1. Let's do greater than um, 12. OK? So, oh, there's nothing happening here. Let's zoom out. Wow, you can see that, right? It's shaded away, shaded outside, not in the middle. So in this case, we're going to see the answer. Um, so first, you look at the number that crossing 2x, right? 
So this is negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. So this look like negative nine and this look like 13, right? So if you were gonna write your answer algebraically, because to the left of negative line nine, it would say X is less than negative nine, right? This is X less than negative nine. And then to the right side of 13, we're gonna write X is greater than 13. You can look 14, 15, 16, 20. All of those have to be greater than 13, okay? And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can um, do it by the graph, okay? Checking your answer. Or if you have no idea how to do by hand, then this is the way that you can start, okay? And look at the graph. That's the most important thing. You look at the graph and you understand what they're writing or they, what are they talking about, okay? What kind of solution? The solution is a part when it's shaded, okay? With the colors, of course. The empty part, no solution. No solution right here in the middle. Okay, that is no solution. Only the shaded part. Okay, thank you for joining me today. You are awesome. I have the ability in, I believe in your ability and I think everyone can learn math and do math. So I keep believing in yourself, okay? You are on the right track. Never give up.